show you guys how I was able to achieve this look yeah so keep watching so guys this is the get ready with me video where I'll show you guys how I achieved my look yeah for my first networking event in Canada I'm excited for this event guys because this is like the first networking event I'll be attending in Canada so I'm excited to meet like-minded people and basically just expand my professional network yeah so <laughs> Yeah, so let's get right into it. But the very first thing we want to do is our uh, hair. Guys, <laughs> I'm excited because today I'll be trying out the Irresistible Me um, ponytail. Guys, I'm excited for this ponytail because the vibe we are going for, we're going for like a classy um, business casual look. Yeah, so this ponytail, this ponytail will come in very, very handy. Yeah, so let's do a quick unboxing before we... So I love that it's long. I love the length and for what we are trying to achieve, it's gonna be it's gonna be cute for that. But yeah, um the hair is pretty soft, so I love that. So I think it's going to like kind of blend into my hair better because of the texture. It, like the texture is really nice. Guys, I love that this hair has this um clip here, so I just have to clip it and wrap it around my hair. So it's like, it's a quick fix guys, I'm so excited, it's a quick fix, I don't have to like go to the salon to install it, so if you're looking to DIY your ponytail, <laughs> you should grab one, yeah, so enough talking, let's just, let's install the hair, let me show you guys how I'm going to install the hair. So guys, first things first, I'm just going to moisturize my hair, oh, that was, oh, oh my god, I don't know, I always forget how, I always forget how um, watery that moisturizer is. I don't know, that always happens to me. I don't know why. So, I'm going to moisturize my hair. After doing that, I'm going to also go in with my hair oil to seal the moisture, guys. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm going to go in with um, the got to be um, styling gel, the clear glue. Guys, I'm applying glue on my hair because I actually plan to wash my hair, if not. And yeah, I have like some flyaways. So I'm just gonna use the glue to like tame everything. So we're going to be going in with a hair, a hair band. Guys, I don't use rubber band because rubber band tends to cut your hair. In case you did not know. So use use a cloth-like band, not rubber band. Yeah, so going to ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. To install our ponytail <laughs> so guys now we're going to take our hair and clip it here so 
so after doing that the next thing is to see what i was talking about flying is the next thing is to take a hairband and secure secure a ponytail guys by all means <laughs> Guys, this is the finished look. What do you guys think? I'm absolutely loving it. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Feeling myself. Feeling myself. <laughs> it feels very, very secure, guys. So I think I love, and I think this is like my new, my new go-to hairstyle because I can just easily do this at home by myself. I don't need to like go to the salon to do anything so i love that for the hair so guys i'm going to be adding um a link in my description just so you guys can get 10 percent off if you want to grab yours but you guys should know that the link the link expires after 48 hours so rush run don't walk to grab yours okay yeah so so guys the very first thing i'll be applying is my snail mousine I told you guys this stuff does like wonders for hydration and when you're trying to do your makeup you want to make sure your face your base is as hydrated as possible i'm using my got to be glue guys for my brows you guys can remember i told you the lady the lady at the beauty supply store i went to she actually gave me the plug guys i think i should do the whole underpainting thing let me try out the whole underpainting thing and i'm using this foundation from nars um the my shade is new caledonia i'm using this concealer from um born this way Too faced and the shade is chai yeah so let's get right into everything hey. I'm using this um, contour stick from NYX or NYX. I don't know how they pronounce it, but yeah. <laughs> Guys, am I the only one that always has issues with knowing where to place their contour? So guys, we're going in with the lighter concealer now, just for the under eyes. The next thing I do is to go in with my, my contour brush. This contour brush is from e.l.f. Yeah, so I just blend upwards. Because guys, when you blend downwards, then this whole thing will just drop. And it's not <laughs> it'll make your cheekbone look like it's down. So I try to blend upwards, guys. Now is the time we go in with our foundation. We're just going to be applying small on our hand. On the back of our palm guys see why i say this thing is dark i feel like this foundation is so dark for me oh i don't know sorry guys you use <laughs> you just take small amounts and apply them to the areas where you haven't applied any makeup guys just very small amounts okay so now we blend <laughs> Guys, the key—I think the key to this technique is making sure when you are when you are applying the foundation, do not go over what you have done underneath. So just apply lightly, and then you use the red. Like once you're done blending out the heavy parts, you just use the remnants to go over what you have done before. So guys, this is what this is what our face is looking like, and I'm absolutely loving it. It's coming off really, really natural. 
so i love that i love that for us anyway the next thing we're going to be doing is um applying a setting powder and i'm using this setting powder this huda beauty setting powder in kunafa i like it because it has like a warm yellow undertone so yeah that's good for us i don't know why i haven't <laughs> i haven't bought that um what do you call it that triangular stuff people used to apply their setting powder i think that thing that thing is really helpful compared to this thing so See guys, you know that Sephora, Sephora did a sale and your girl did not buy anything. I don't I don't know what's wrong with me. The funny thing is that even before the sale, I had some things I wanted to get in my cart. I have this bad habit of thinking there's still time to do something until I realize. Until I realize there's no time and the opportunity to do the thing is no longer there bad habits very bad habits guys guys the whole point of putting that setting powder there is to just create like a reverse contour just so that the contour your <laughs> the cheekbone is well highlighted yeah so now that we are done with all of that let's do my best part you guys should guess my best part my best part is actually blush but let's apply our setting powder first Blush is from Tara, guys. Tara is a Nigerian brand. Yeah, this is what I've been using, and I've been okay with it for now. I haven't seen any reason to get any other one for now. But yeah, I always, <laughs> I always like blend out my blush with my setting powder. I feel like it gives it a more natural look. See the way this one is tamed down now, and this one is like, come to glory, come to glory. Yeah, I don't like it. So this is the look, but I then I seal everything in with my Nia Beauty setting spray, guys. This setting spray I got it from Nigeria, so I'm still using it until it's almost done. How can I show you guys? It's almost done, so yeah, once it's done, I can replace it, but right now, it's doing a good job for me. <laughs> so let's quickly apply that to sealing everything. I have been baptized by setting spray. <laughs> yeah, so we're just going to let that dry down. So guys, the plan is actually to wear a white t-shirt, blue mom jean, and black blazer, but my black blazer is rumpled, so that's not the vibe we are trying to give. So I'm thinking of wearing the striped sweater I got from Shein, the one I showed you guys the last time, because it's actually cold, guys, so I need something that will give me some warmth. And then maybe I'll wear my black Zara pants, and of course my black loafers. Hey. Staying at your dress cause it's see through. Yeah, talking out of shit that you done been through. Yeah, say that you a lesbian girl, me too. Hey, girls want girls where I'm from. Hey, girls want girls where I'm from. Girls want girls where I'm from. 